Hello, uh, welcome to an ATN tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Excite4K Pro to the latest firmware. Uh, the basic functions of the scope, you have your keypad, uh, is the power button, you just click it once and the scope turns on. If, if anything, if you ever need to kind of uh, force shut off your scope, you just hold the power button for 20, 30 seconds, it'll turn off and then just click it once and it turns back on. Uh, click OK to get into the menu. Uh, to navigate the menu, you've got your right and left arrow keys, power and function button will get you up and down in the menu. And then OK is going to be to confirm the, the action that you need. Here on the left, you've got your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, here on the back, we've got the diopter adjustment. So by rotating the diopter adjustment, you will achieve optimal sharpness in your vision. Just look through the eyepiece while focusing on the reticle or the widgets until the picture becomes uh, crisp and clear. In the front, you've got your distance focus to focus to, uh, to, to properly focus at various distances. Here on the right, you've got your micro SD card for um, either updating the firmware, what we're going to be talking about, or taking photos and videos of, of the hunts. Uh, and this is your USB port. That's it for the basic kind of functions of the scope. And now what you're going to need for updating the, the, the 4K Pro to the latest firmware. You're going to need a micro SD card. It should be somewhere between 4 and 64 gigabytes uh, for it to properly work with the scope. I I have a SanDisk here, and I suggest you use like reputable brands like a SanDisk, uh, Samsung, or Transcend. Those are usually best, and they work pretty well. Uh, what we're going to want to do is the first step is we're going to want to um, format the SD card inside the scope. I prefer doing it inside the scope because the scope sets the the correct file format on the SD card, and that way you won't have any other any problems down the road um, having the scope accept the firmware. So, okay, uh, I'm going to be using a card reader to, to insert it into the PC. Uh, you can also use a micro SD adapter if you have a laptop. You can insert it like one of those ports. And that's it. Uh, I'll show you how to do that on the computer. Okay, so to format the SD card in the scope, um, open up the rubber seal for the SD card. Take your SD, micro SD card with the pins up. Slide it gently into the slot and just push it in with your finger or you can use something like a like a pen or a pin kind of push it in there. So that's it, the SD card's inside. And next I'll show you on the screen how, how to format it inside the scope. You press the OK button to get into the menu carousel, click left and choose the system settings, the wrench icon, and click right twice and get to the photo video tab. Click down to format SD card, click OK, and choose yes to format SD card. It's gonna wanna confirm, deleting, click yes. And there you go, click OK, and the, form, the format of the card is finished. Next, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to download the firmware from our website and copy it onto your SD card. Okay, once the SD card is formatted in the scope, we just uh, take it out, and uh, I'm gonna hook it up to the card reader here and plug it into the computer to download the firmware and copy it onto the SD card. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. All right, so we have the SD card uh, inserted into the computer and we're gonna go, go ahead and open up a browser. I'm gonna open up Chrome. And from here in the URL, we're gonna type in atncorp.com and hit enter. Uh, to download the firmware, you're gonna need to sign into your account, um, create an account if you haven't already and sign in in order to download the firmware. So next we're gonna hit this firmware button here and we're going to get to the ATN Update Center. So we're updating the Excite 4K, and in this drop-down window, um, we're going to click and hit Excite 4K. From here, you just click on the uh, Download button, 
and on the bottom left corner you'll see it being downloaded so just wait until it downloads and then i'll show you what to do next All right, so once the firmware is downloaded, you're gonna drag your cursor here and right click and show in folder. So that opens up um, the location where you downloaded the firmware. And what you're gonna wanna do is you don't, don't open the file or change the file name, otherwise it won't work to update your, your scope. So next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna right click it and hit copy. And then here on the left, we're gonna search for the micro SD card that you've inserted into the computer. Mine is called HSDHC. So when you click it, you will see an ATN folder. Since we did um, format the SD card inside the scope, it created an ATN folder. This is where your video and photos will be, will be stored. So you don't wanna drop it in that folder, otherwise it won't work as well. So you're gonna drop it in the root folder of the SD card. We're gonna right click and hit paste. So that is it, the firmware is on the micro SD card. So now we're just gonna take out the SD card from the computer and insert it into the scope. And I'll show you what to do next. All right, so we have the firmware on our micro SD card. We're just gonna to wanna to pop it into the scope. Um, make sure that the scope is powered off when you do that. So again, with the pins up, you just stick it in there nice and gently. Don't force it, just push it until you hear the click. And that's it. You just click the power button and the scope will, will turn on and prompt a firmware update. So click update firmware, click yes to confirm. And it takes a couple of seconds to, for it to finish to complete to 100%. Once that happens, then your scope is gonna Kind of restart, and that's it. The firmware update is finished. All right, so when the scope reboots right after the firmware update, there's only two kind of things you still need to do. Uh, we're going to want to do a restore factory settings of the scope. And you press the OK button to get to the menu carousel. Press left and choose system settings, the wrench icon. Click OK click right all the way to the settings tab oh one less there you go settings tab and go down to restore factory settings click ok and confirm factory reset click yes need to reboot and click ok to reboot the device and it'll power on to the home menu again Okay, so once the scope uh, reboots after the factory reset, you're gonna wanna do is uh, choose the correct device type. So again, you click okay to get to the menu carousel, click left to system settings to the wrench icon, click okay, and go back to the settings tab that you were in before, and scroll down to device type. Uh, you're gonna wanna choose the appropriate one. I here have the three to 14 power model, uh, if you have the 520, choose that one and click up to 314 power or 520 if that's the one that you have. Minus 314, click OK to confirm. And that's really it. This is the whole process of how to update the firmware. So your scope is all set and ready to use. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.